taxes were brutal. Sure were. Could be worse. Imagine if we lived in California. Oh. You know, if those people like keeping their money, they might move here. Ah, shh. What if they find out how much better it is and bring their policies with them? Has anyone noticed all the for sale signs? Curse this housing boom! Well, there goes the neighborhood. Ugh, why can't they stay in their own state? Aside from those mysterious lockdowns due to... Shh, the algorithm won't let us say that word. Oh, um, aside from those lockdowns that happened for no reason? Still an accurate description. Places like California and New York haven't been friendly to residents in decades. California is the third most expensive state to live in, and New York is the second. Averaged out, that means $100 can only buy you $86.66 worth of goods in California and $85.91 worth of goods in New York. Metropolitan areas in both states have some of the highest property taxes in the country, driving up housing costs for residents. That makes the average housing price in those areas among the highest in the nation. Also adding to housing prices are some of the strictest zoning laws in the country, which artificially reduce the supply of available housing. Less supply, more demand, more expensive. New York and the Los Angeles area also happen to have the worst homelessness rates in the country. So frankly, atrociously high rents and prices on top of other political issues make the Big Apple a rotten core and the Sunshine State a dark alley. Ah, uh, is there any hope we'll have neighbors who aren't gonna vote this place into borderline third world status? They're all wearing masks. Aw, uh, hey neighbors. Except this guy. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the links in the description because we bring the receipts and leave a comment below. We'll see you on the next wonderful exhilarating episode of Common Sense Soapbox. Check it out.